hearing these other assaults, uh, it seems like maybe there's a culture of, of employees thinking that this is okay, uh, or the lodge sort of cultivating an, an atmosphere where this sort of behavior is accepted. And it was just very apparent that they will do anything at the expense of their employees or anyone really to keep their good name and to just get more, you know, keep that business pumping. According to a biographer, one of the Shore Lodge Resort's catchphrases in the early days was wholesome. However, the iconic landmark on Payette Lake may be far removed from that original wholesome ideology. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10. The historic Shore Lodge prides itself on being a destination in the hidden gem that is McCall, Idaho. Today, the hotel and its sister resort, Whitetail Club, are among the largest employers in McCall. But as I learned, Shore Lodge is facing very serious accusations surrounding sexual assault and harassment by and between guests and employees. A tranquil mountain sanctuary. It truly is the one sort of destination place in McCall, um, and it's gorgeous. Set against a beautiful backdrop. On the surface, it's beautiful. I mean, the surroundings, it's mountains, it's on a lake. But under the surface, it was just that kind of toxic work environment where it was very obvious if you speak up, you're put on the list and you'll be treated differently and or they'll get rid of you any chance they get. Seven investigates learned of at least five instances reported to police of alleged sexual assault or harassment at the historic Shore Lodge in McCall in just the past two and a half years. All of them involve employees allegedly assaulting coworkers, an employee accused of assaulting a guest, even guests assaulting employees. Three of the five resulted in charges after police took the reports. For a town of 3,000 people to have this many as sexual assaults in one business is insane. So clearly they have a problem they need to get ahead of. One of those guests was convicted of disturbing the peace after taking a plea deal in May. According to a police report, he drunkenly grabbed a massage therapist at the Cove Spa and told her he'd pay her for sexual favors. It happened Christmas Eve of last year, and Ellie Bond says she witnessed it. Had security come and escort them from the spa. They went to their room and security was watching them while we called the cops. Bond says she wanted the manager on duty to call the cops. But that manager told her and her coworker it was on them to call. So it right away felt very discouraging. They didn't want the cops coming up there. They didn't want people seeing the cops up there. After the incident, she and her coworker asked Shore Lodge management to set up meetings with every department to review sexual assault protocols, post zero tolerance policies all over the lodge, and hold yearly mandatory harassment training for all employees. Since I'd started in September, there was not one mention of sexual harassment training. It was an orientation, just look over the handbook, it's all digital, and that was it. Internal emails from January show after those meetings, HR told Bond they'd implement a protocol and training around sexual assault by guests in the spa. But in terms of company-wide, nothing. A few months after those conversations with management, Ellie was allegedly sexually assaulted by a male coworker at a party in Shore Lodge's corporate building. Surveillance cameras caught the whole thing. He's been charged in Valley County, but the case is sealed right now. <laughs> Twin Falls attorney Brian Hilverta represents another woman who says a different Shore Lodge employee forced himself on her in April of last year. Uh, she's not doing great. Um, it's something she'll carry with her for the rest of her life. Court documents allege she tried to rape her in her hotel room shower. Truly horrifying and, and she just fought off the best she could and screamed and it took all the rest of the friends coming into the shower area to pull him off and throw him out of the room naked and wet. She and her friends reported it to Shore Lodge management and McCall police and the suspect is going to trial for charges of sexual battery and indecent exposure. So what did Shore Lodge do about it? Uh, not much. Uh, at one point they said, well, we've turned it into HR and that's all they said. Um, at one point, someone from the lodge in another call just said, we're not perfect at following policies and procedures and left it at that. The common claim through these cases, allegations that Shore Lodge management didn't take appropriate action, had a lackadaisical attitude toward claims of sexual harassment and even fostered a culture of tolerance around it. Hilverta filed a lawsuit in January against the suspect and Shore Lodge for those very reasons, claiming the company is liable for his client's assault last April and could have prevented it. In its response to that lawsuit, Shore Lodge denies responsibility. They say the suspect was, quote, 
acting outside the course and scope of his employment. Essentially, he did it on his own, not as part of his job. If they are creating that environment where their employees think that they can get away with this, or even guests, or where this sort of thing happens regularly, then they've got a problem. I emailed Tom Garcia, president and general manager of Shore Lodge Whitetail, asking for their side of the story. Via email, all Garcia told me was, quote, we strive to be an employer of choice that provides a safe workplace environment. So then I called the registered agent of Shore Lodge Whitetail. He told me the owners of the resort stand by that statement and have nothing else to say about the story right now. The Scott family owns Shore Lodge and Whitetail Club the same Scots who are heirs to Albertson's grocery stores. The day after reporting her assault, Bond was fired. She'd also just torn her ACL and internal emails show she missed multiple days of work because of knee pain, going against company policy. But I believe it was their retaliation, you know, from speaking up since I started there. So I think that was just their way of trying to get me out and thought I wouldn't fight it. But she is fighting it. She and her attorney, Matthew Gunn, filed a charge of discrimination against the company with the Idaho Human Rights Commission this month, the first step toward suing. Bond claims Shore Lodge managers discriminated against her because of her injury. They were negligent in their response to her sexual assault. And she claims they retaliated against her partly after she pushed for more action around sexual harassment. I emailed Garcia asking for his response to that complaint, and he never got back to me. I would like to see the people responsible held accountable for their actions. Through their legal action, Bon and Hilverta want Shore Lodge to unmask and address the darkness that they say is lurking under the surface. What do you hope comes out of this? Our client definitely wants her story to be heard, and more than anything, she wants it not to happen again. So some assurity that there are steps in place uh, to make sure this sort of thing never happens again. In emails to Ellie earlier this year, Shore Lodge's HR director tells her complaints are seriously investigated and appropriate actions are taken. She says they communicate and train, but the HR director says they, quote, can't control what people do or say. We expect more information about how Shore Lodge handled these incidents exactly to come out when the civil and criminal cases are heard in court. It's important to note, Idaho does not have a legal requirement for private businesses to offer sexual harassment training. But Idaho Human Rights Commission Director Ben Earwicker says it's clearly in an employer's best interest to provide that and a best practice. He goes on to say some businesses and corporations may have internal policies mandating that. Earwicker says HR groups do recommend yearly trainings and provide resources for businesses should they choose to put those on. If you have your own individual story about an incident at Shore Lodge or Whitetail, please reach out to me. You can email 7investigates at ktvb.com.